was injured, he hit my brother's car, and he ended up going to the hospital. I didn't go because I had to stay here with my daughter because I didn't know if they were going to catch him or not. A brother saves his sister from being run over during a violent domestic dispute. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiotto. Happening locally live at 5 tonight, she stepped in to protect her daughter from an attacker, allegedly using his car to run the family down. Please tell us the driver is Tracy Alford. He's 35 years old and in jail tonight, booked for second degree assault. It all happened Monday evening around 5.30 near 34th and Sprague. It was there the family was getting ready to leave for a child's birthday party. Tonight, our Chase Moffat joins us live to explain where police finally caught up with Alfred Chase. Yeah, Joe, tonight we're live here at the Douglas County Jail where that family says they are very thankful that Alford is behind bars tonight. But like you talked about, it was last night, Monday night, when they say he allegedly hit two of the family members pinning one of the men in between two cars. But Alford allegedly, according to the investigation, left after that accident. He was later found at 43rd and Lake where he was arrested. He turns around and try to run us over. He went around the block and came back twice and tried to kill him. My brother threw me out the way because I would have been dead for nothing. The tears in Crystal Richards' eyes well up and fall to the pavement as she describes how just hours before she was nearly killed. In the same driveway, she's now standing. And that was all I'm called for. Because stop the violence. It's not about all that. All you have to do is go. And that's all we we're asking you to just go. So it should have went that far. It all started, Richards tells me, as her daughter, Kernisha, was loading up the two grandkids into a car for a birthday party. When Kernisha got into a fight with her dad, police identify him as 35 year old Tracy Alford. He got mad at her, so he threw some hands at her, and I didn't think that was right. So I ran outside, tried to break up the fight. Him and my brother got in a fight because he was hitting his knees, and that wasn't cool. Take a look at the yard. That's the result from when the events turned from an argument to a violent, nearly deadly act behind the wheel. Broken glass, tire tracks, and a destroyed fence, all from Alfred's first alleged attempt at running the family over. He missed. We see the car speeding. Mm -hmm. I mean, he ran the car up and he started speeding. And he, he's like, get out the way. The investigation reveals Alfred went on a second pass. This time around, Richards' brother pushed her out of the way of the oncoming car. I was like, damn, I couldn't move. I was like, oh, he's going to kill us? That's all I could think about. I just threw my hands up. Mm -hmm. I just threw, I knew I was dead. Mm -hmm. so. so my brother threw me out the way, but he got hit. The brother pinned and injured, recovering Tuesday night in the hospital. But she has a message for Alfred, who at the same time is behind bars. He won't come around anymore, okay. uh, bar none. Okay. <laughs> you out of here, buddy. Mm. Yeah, strong words tonight. Again, he is behind bars being held on bond. Now, the kind of tragic in all this caught up we talked about was that two-year-old and one-year-old who saw this all unfold. In fact, the two-year-old was in the car that got hit, but we checked online court records. It's a $5,000 bond. He still needs to appear for a judge. But coming up tonight at 630, we talked to the WCA about how other families who may find themselves in a tragic, similar situation like this, what they can do to keep safe. All right, looking, you guys. looking forward to that. Thank you, Chase.